Hello, my name is Kim Olson, and today I'm going to give you some tips on avoiding the freshman 40, as it now is called, or just gaining weight in general in college. So if you haven't had a, a chance to check out my other videos, please do at FitKimTV on YouTube or go to my blog at FitKim.com. So when I started my freshman year, which was now a long time ago, we're not going to date myself, but many years ago, I gained the freshman 15 twice. Well, now it's actually trending to be the freshman 40. So that just goes to show how much our health has changed in over a decade. So I want you to know that it is totally possible to avoid gaining the freshman 40. And I also want you to know that what you do that first freshman year and maybe your sophomore year as well is going to lay the groundwork for all of your 20s and possibly your 30s and beyond. So some tips that I would like to share with you because I know school's starting right now and if you're in college or post-college you can probably benefit from this as well. First of all, when you start college, if you're not in a sport, but you were in a sport in high school, you've got to make sure you maintain your activity level because you naturally are going to still eat the same amount of food that you ate in high school. But if you're not active in college, then you're going to gain weight. So what I would do the very first week of school is find out if there's a local gym or some colleges and universities obviously have an awesome fitness facility right there on campus. Join a gym. If you don't know how to use the equipment, get some sessions with a trainer. It's worth the money, I promise. And they'll teach you how to use it, get a routine, join some classes, get your friends to go with you, and right away start that pattern. Because when school starts, if you say, well, I'll just wait, I want to get settled, and I'm going to be so busy, the nickname for freshman year is nap time. Now, I worked during my freshman year, but I, t I can tell you it's a lot different than high school. You can find the time. Second thing is, check out the meal options for the uh, on-campus food plan that usually comes with your tuition. If they don't have healthy options for you, or there's so many bad choices that you feel like you would be so tempted, you couldn't make good decisions, then I would nix that plan and I would literally find a way to do your own grocery shopping and do your own cooking. If you watch my videos, you'll see it's super easy to learn the basics, but if you can boil water, you know, make an omelet, make a smoothie, if you have a blender, and you can make a salad or buy a salad, you'll be good to go, I promise. The, the most tempting thing and the biggest downfall of your freshman year is that cafeteria because all of a sudden mom isn't cooking anymore or you're on your own and there's all this amazing food and you can go back as much as you want or you're with your friends talking and before you know it you've eaten a whole bowl of pasta. Well, you're not going to be as active as you were in high school most likely so the chance of you gaining weight is very high. So that is super important for sure. Um, and that was really the main things that I would look at is also look at your sleep levels because freshmen and as you get the, the next year in college as well, tend to sleep less. So you are gonna wanna look at that because low sleep is linked to weight gain. Um, also stress levels, a lot of students put a lot of pressure on themselves and I know I was one of those people because I wanted to get really good grades and I was on scholarship. You've gotta put that in perspective because if your stress is really high, that's also linked to gaining weight. So just know a lot of uh, clients that come to me post-college and they've gained all this weight, they've never been heavy before and they just don't even know what to do. Don't let it snowball. As soon as you start to see the scale move or you notice your clothes don't fit right, put a stop to it, get some help, email me, you know, ask a friend for help. Just don't let it get out of hand because it just is so much harder to lose the weight than keep it off. So I hope you like these tips. I know they're short and sweet, but that's really all you're going to need to get started. If you have any other tips that maybe work for you or any other advice, post a comment. I would love to hear it. And if you like this video, please subscribe at FitKimTV on YouTube or check out my blog at FitKim.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you soon.